Most people start practicing martial arts looking for an effective method of self-defense or street fighting. However, the true meaning of martial arts is the individual development through the martial way that leads to peace and enlightenment. Since the abolition of the samurai supremacy, a new martial arts trend called Gendai Budo emerged in Japan. Gendai Budo means modern martial arts. These modern martial arts initially deny the act of destroying or killing the opponent and attempted to continue the training in ethics and the establishment of the philosophy of life for its practitioners while cultivating the body and could be used as a method of self-defense. Later, these modern arts became sports and the martial spirit disappeared. The new generations of martial artists had virtually the only option to take one of those modern ways However, after achieving a high technical level within a certain modern art, the way ends and we cannot reach the original purpose that drew us to the martial world. After 30 years training, I had the opportunity to join Kazen of Ryubuge Yogawaha, the teachings inherited and later transmitted by Ogawa Hiroshi Sensei to Shidoshi Jordan and through our Shidoshi to all of us not only show the Kisit techniques and their effectiveness in the battlefield since ancient times, but also demonstrate Kazuno Ryu Bugei Ogawaha is a true school of life that is for me the real way to meet spiritual and physical perfection in martial arts. Kazuno Ryu Bugei Ogawaha is not only just a common martial arts school, it is a real way of life where respect and courtesy prevail, as well as physical, mental, and spiritual development beside an exquisite mastery of techniques and war strategies inherited for our ancestors, the Samurais. Our school is also a true family, a brotherhood in Buge.
is Nelson Hill. I am the representative to Kazinaru Ogawa Ha in California. I started martial arts at the age of five years old while living in Brazil. Uh, I came from a single parent family and my mother wanted me to get out and experience something different and so she introduced me to the art of judo and that was about 36 years ago and I haven't looked back since. I first came across Kazenaru Ogawa Ha when I was on YouTube and I was researching Kopo Jutsu. Uh, in the previous art that I studied, um, Kopo Jutsu was part of their requirements and uh, part of the curriculum. And in researching some of the techniques that I had for my next test, I just, out of curiosity, typed in Kopo Jutsu in YouTube and the Ogawa, Ru fam or the Ogawa Ha family uh, videos came up. And um, wow. I, I have never been so impressed by quality understanding, not only of movement, but the understanding of anatomy, uh, projection of energy, and it basically took my understanding of what I was looking for of the Kopo Jutsu, just on that level, to a whole different dimension. And then, at the time, which is about a year ago, I mean, they had about f over 500, between 500 and 600 videos, I just started looking through the videos and it was just one after the other it was more and more impressive um, the quality of what they were doing um, so after reviewing quite a few videos I decided to contact them and find out if indeed they had representation here in America somebody that I could study with after a few conversations with Chateau Lewis at EBS the European Bouguet Society I was put in touch with Shacho Tony Allo of uh, New York, who heads the North American Bouguet Society. Um, we got on very, very well together from the first conversation, and, um, and I'm happy to be under his guidance at this point. I think also the fact that there is no belt system allows um, the person coming into Ogaru to take the path in its own due time and not be worried about what the next level of achievement is and also eliminates the ego from it. The, the belt system that I've found has only really um, encouraged competition and encouraged the ego amongst students in the same style even, uh, let alone from competing styles. I'm really glad I got the experience to meet Shacho Tony through this whole experience. He's been a great guidance, a great inspiration, and he's a kindred spirit in the pursuit for Ogaru. Uh, I look forward to many years of uh, training with him, uh, especially with the fact of him being such a master swordsman, something that I highly respect and look up to.